highlight earlier this week was the cold air that settled in for a couple days. Now we're reversing direction. We hold on to some mild conditions for the weekend and then a summer preview coming next week, which definitely means no frosty conditions anytime soon. It was about two and a half weeks ago that we saw a preview of summer conditions. By the time we get to next week, it'll be about three weeks in between, but we are looking at potentially the 80s around the corner. But we have to wait a couple days to get there. First up, though, Pretty mild night, 45 coming for the overnight low, which is uh, somewhat seasonable for this time of year. However, this was our high temperature a couple days ago, so that's why tonight may feel a little warmer out there. We're mainly cloudy, some rain possible, mainly to our south. We're keeping an eye on satellite and radar. You can see this area of showers working from Missouri into central Illinois. There is a ton of dry air in play here. You can kind of see how the cloud cover gets cut off just a little bit because of that drier air coming in, so that may provide just enough of a buffer to keep rain showers away from us as we go into the morning hours tomorrow. You can see on future track that uh, we mainly see showers south of I. 80. They could get as far north as I 88. So we're going to put this in motion for you here. You can see throughout the pre dawn hours, most of the showers staying south. I think right around sunrise is when that air, uh, that rainfall may get just close enough to us. We're going to keep a slight chance for rain around in the forecast, but for the most part, if you're north of I-88, you're going to stay dry tomorrow. You're south of I-88, there's that slim chance right around sunrise that we see these showers work in. Throughout the rest of the morning, they uh, retreat away to our southeast. So those spots south of I-88, again, just around sunrise within an hour or two, that chance for rain expires and we stay dry and cloudy throughout the remainder of the day. Outside of one slim chance for rain, you can see a little popping up near Milwaukee here. There's a cold front that comes through, so that could send some scattered sprinkles our way in the late afternoon. You can see a future track though staying pretty dry, so that could be what we end up seeing overall as the sky clears out just in time for sunset. Looking at clear conditions, you might see a brilliant sunset and that sets us up for a sunny Sunday. So as we plot the day out for you, you can see we get up to around 60 under that cloud cover, then late in the day beginning to get some sunshine peeking out amongst those clouds as that cold front starts to work on by. Overall, we could use a little rainfall to wash the air out. You can see the allergy forecast remaining moderately high, definitely where we have been at as of today. Monday looks even higher as much warmer weather kicks in. That summer preview could definitely send the pollen into overdrive as things start to grow like crazy as the weather warms on up. So mild weekend right around 64 tomorrow. Again, rain mostly staying to our south or mainly cloudy and then mostly sunny by the end of the weekend. We cool off a little with temperatures back down to the mid 50s and then we see a lot of heat next week. Temperatures jump 20 plus degrees between Sunday and Monday. You can see the forecast has us going from 56 to 76 and then 82 possible on a Tuesday. After that, some scattered showers and thunderstorms ahead that cools us off back down to the 50s and in your most accurate 10 day forecast. We're going to hold on to the 60s long term and still pretty comfortable for this time of year. A little cooler though compared to that 80 around the corner, James. There's still a good looking 10 day forecast, Alex.